If you've never been fire agate digging before, it's not easy work. It's generally out in the desert, in the middle of nowhere, and it's hard rock digging. This is with a pickaxe, hammer, chisel. If you're lucky, you might have a pneumatic hammer, but you probably don't. You're probably out there, and it's the middle of summer, and you're with your wife, and some guy told you you can go ahead and go out to his claim after you gave him a hundred bucks. Anyways, after about a day of digging, you might, if you're lucky, get a, a few nodules of, of the fire agate. And uh, fire agate doesn't just come out of the rock looking real pretty. No, it's, it's lumpy and kind of looks like a root beer float. Uh, and the, the beautiful part of the fire agate is actually hidden underneath a layer of semi-transparent material, generally agate or chalcedony, or chalcedony, or however you want to pronounce it. But the thing to remember is, whatever you do, however you pronounce it, don't cut all the way through it. And that's the tricky thing about fire agate. Not only is it hard to get, but then you have to polish it. And unlike most materials, it doesn't, you can't just put a smooth face over the top of it, call it good, because the depth of each individual little bubble of iridescent fire in that fire agate, well, they're all different heights and different layers. So the closer you can get to those little bubbles of fire, the better, because the better you're going to be able to see it. Now, the problem is, though, the second that your polishing wheels even touch that iridescence, it's gone. There's, there's no depth to it. Unlike opal or other materials, there's, there's no depth. You, just, you don't get a second chance. And once you put a little dent in that iridescence, you get this dead spot in the fire agate. And that's not really very desirable. So artisans have to go in there generally with high-speed rotary tools, handheld rotary tools that they're using to carve these fire agates, uh, which is why you usually don't see fire agates with uh, perfectly surrounded or smooth domes on the top of them. Because if you dome it, then the part of the dome that's close to the iridescence, that part will be thin enough that you'll you'll be able to clearly see the iridescence, but other parts where the, the dome is high up over a valley in between, maybe some smaller little bubbles, you won't be able to make them out very clearly. There will be too much of that translucent material. This material, it's not perfectly transparent, it's translucent. So the thicker the material is between that iridescence and, and the surface, the worse off it's gonna look. So that's why the best fire agates are hand carved. So when you do come across a good piece, then you have to evaluate, well, how good is it? Well, can you actually see the iridescence without a whole bunch of light? I mean, is it dark? Is it just kind of this muddy root beer color? Um, what are the main colors? Is it, is it mostly just kind of a golden color? Golds and maybe browns? Those are pretty common. Start to get the greens, that's better. See if you get purples. Now purples are one of the best ones. That's much more rare, so that starts putting the price up there. How bright? It's like an opal. This is like the opal of the Southwest, basically. The more color you can get, the better. The brighter the color, the better. The bigger the piece, the better. So it, it, these are all the reasons why fire agate is, is it as expensive and desirable as it is. Uh, so when you see fire agate on the market, this is a good thing to keep in mind. And when you see it at gym shows, remember that there's actually a pretty limited supply of it out there. So if you see a good piece out there, um, you might buy it up. And there's not a lot left. And what is left, a lot of it is already, the best stuff has already found its way into private collections. So whenever I find a good piece of fire I get, I definitely try to take advantage of that. Buy it up so I can put it in a ring and whatnot. So yeah, that's... That's today's little lesson on fire out yet. Thanks for watching.